Hey everyone, this is Pete, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 3, where last time we received the power of the fire crystal, uh, and now we've been told to go to this place that we uh, inadvertently stumbled across a couple of episodes ago. Now, there are some bad times in store for this village, because uh, King Argus has seemingly gone a bit mad, and is destroying the village and kidnapping people and that sort of thing. So, let's find out what's going on. You can't move. Hey, what's going on? What is the meaning of this? Get them! Take them away to Castle Hein. They'll make good slaves. Actually, the use of the word slaves in 2020 is a little bit turned deaf, I think. Read the room. Uh, where are we? We have been imprisoned. Let us investigate the vicinity. It's that bit in the Final Fantasy game where you got locked in a cell. This castle is the elder tree of the living woods. Hein put a curse on it and carved tunnels and rooms inside its trunk. Oh, we're not going out that way, but we can get through here. Ooh. Hein has hidden the royal sword of King Argus somewhere. This would be King Argus, I guess. I am King Argus. I rule over the lands north of the desert. That is to say, the king of an empty kingdom now that Hein has cursed my soldiers into doing his bidding. See, he's a good guy after all. I had put my trust in him. His betrayal cannot be forgiven. <coughs> my lord, are you alright? I am fine, thank you, but I must ask you to do something for me. You must defeat Hein. Well, I think we all saw that coming, didn't we? Did you know he changes his weak point? Hein was King Argus's most trusted advisor, but he was corrupted by darkness after the earthquake hit us. Well, that's no good, is it? Hein was corrupted by darkness and obtained great power from it, and still he hungers for more. You were going to defeat Hein, you say? That's interesting. Hmm, yes. Well then, now you must die! Gosh, it's a spy. Let's murder him. Stab, 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 stab. Ow. takes care of that. So, now what? Oh, this door's open. Use this to shrink yourselves. It's of no use to me now. There's a small hole in the rightmost corner. Good luck. Oh no, it's another mini dungeon. There's a Healy pot though. Healy pots are good. Anything else in here? No, just you. Well. I guess you know what we have to do then. If only we could pass through this hole. If only somebody had just told us how we could pass through this hole. It's too small. We wouldn't be able to get through unless we shrunk ourselves. Shrink ourselves? How could we possibly do that? That's madness, I tell you. Oh, wait. Can we go big again right away? I can't remember.
We can. Good. Not a mini dungeon. It's just a hole we need to be small to go through. The chest contained holy arrow. Oh, hello. Have some fire. You're not weak against fire. How dare you not be weak against fire. Alright then, let's try lightning. And ice. Or a whopping great critical hit from Luneth. That'll do too. Other goodies can we find in here? Oh, you again. Doesn't appear to be especially weak against anything. That's a shame. Still not too strong, especially if we only encounter one at a time. Uh, nothing that way. And again. Treasure. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. Is this telling me I'm likely to die in this dungeon? Who knows. Uh, what are you? You're a lemur, apparently. Oh, not like any lemur I've seen. Kind of gross. And quite strong. Hmm. Ow. Come on, Refia, you can do better than that. Stuff's hitting hard in here, but it's not too hard to kill, at least. Let's have a bit of heal up for Ark. hits. Nice. Large hit. That's nice. Yeah, those things seem to be some of the more dangerous stuff in here. Don't. 
We will have no stoning people in here, thank you very much. Onward to more woody maze. Oh, I think I can see the stairs already. Back attack. Uh, uh. Ow. Why does that never work? That's like his thing, and it just never works. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely stairs over on the left, so treasure. Phoenix down. More of these fuckers. texture work in here. You see it's a fairly simple low resolution texture, what with it being PSP but and DS originally. But it's um it's capturing a good feel of that sort of foresty wooded area type thing going on. And practically sort of smell the rotting leaves. Ooh lots of doors to choose from. Let's try this one. And this isn't Final Fantasy 2, so it probably won't be an ambush room. No, it's a nice room. With treasure. 3,000 gil. And a bomb fragment. And some water that doesn't do anything. Okay. What about this one? More water that doesn't do anything. Antarctic wind. And 3,000 gil. Gosh, these elemental items might be helpful if we come up against the boss who keeps changing his weak point. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Hmm. More treasure. More treasure. Zeus's wrath. Oh, hello. Lamia? Lamia. But will Elamia be weak against, I wonder? Let's try lightning and fire. And critical hits. I enjoy the inherent absurdity of her having very realistic proportions and then just these little dumpy chibi figures fighting against her. And winning. <laughs> is that all there is found here?
Oh, I'm hitting Riff, yeah. I know she's technically our tank, but... Be nice. Right, you can have a potion now. There you go. Yeah, it just goes all the way around, doesn't it? Did want to check, just in case there was any treasure lurking anywhere, but apparently not. Finish him. Oh god, so many fights. It's one of those places. Still, I am not going to complain at the experience. And the fact they have a solid party lineup right now. Both Lunith and Refia are doing decent amounts of damage now. And Ark and Ingus are doing great with their free spell casting from those stuffs. Staves. Stuffs. Staves. Sticks. Magic sticks. Ow. Come on, Ark, take him down. Nice. On we go. Oh, there's more. Oh, I spy treasure. What the fuck are you? Or a Delahan. With a horse. A horsey Delahan. I like how they made the Delahan hot in this one. Just to cater to all of those people who want to fuck monster girls. As opposed to the big lumbering suits of armor seen in other Final Fantasy games. That said, I know at least a couple of people who would quite happily fuck a large suit of armor. So, you know, each their own and all that. As long as you're not hurting anyone. That'll be the King's Sword then. Royal Sword. 
I'll be keeping that. As I recall, the first time I played this, I had a momentary moral quandary about whether I should keep that or take it back to the king. I'm keeping it. Just so you know. Doing so much damage to everyone. Nice hit from Refia. Very nice. And heal up again as I smell a boss shortly. Anything? No, no. Dala hands everywhere. You know what Heinz into? Headless ladies. Nicely done. Come on, we gotta be nearly there by now. Oh, this looks promising. Do I want to go that way or the other way? Oh, and while we make decisions, let's have a few fights, shall we? Very noisy car outside. Driven by someone with a tiny penis. As the convention goes. That Royal Sword has done great things for Refia's attack. Was there anything over here? No, there wasn't anything over there in the first place, so that's fine. It's all good. Tail smack. On with an upward. Up the tree. Grab the treasure. Phoenix down because you might die. I won't die, everything's going to be fine. Everything, I tell you.
Go on, Anark. I'll let you cure yourself. Put all these spells, and I'm just not using any of them. <laughs> Always the way. Onward and inward. And some more treasure. Elixir, you say, and more water that doesn't do anything? That's a shame. We'd love a healing spring right now. Back attack. No, 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 no. I believe even if Flea doesn't work, I think... Um, it actually improves the chances of everyone to be able to escape. Damn it! Well, at least I got some Phoenix Downs. short on high potions. I'm going to need to be a bit careful. I don't think we have a huge amount left to go now. There's the stairs up. Anything up here? Treasure. Rune bow. Maybe that's a bow that doesn't suck. Inside bows are a bit of a pain with having to keep them stocked up on arrows. We must be nearly there now. We must be. We simply must be. So many of these buggers. Help. Come on, finish him off. Nice work. This looks potentially bossy. So... Let's just make sure everyone is fighting fit. Hello! Ah, the power of darkness is a thing of beauty. A black tapestry of chaos. A tapestry on which I shall paint an all-encompassing nocturne. Leaving aside the fact that nocturne is a piece of music, not a painting. With this fortress, Argus' soldiers to the power of darkness, I will rule the world. 
Time to die! Are you sure about that, Bonehead? We'll just see about this. Um. Magic. Libra. What are you weak against right now? I am going to set fire to you. Weak to fire. We can do fire. Uh, okay. I thought I had some more exciting fiery things, but no, I've just got some bomb fragments, but, well, may as well make use of them while we've got them. You can use your fire staff. And you can give him a fire right in his face, hopefully before he changes his barrier again. Nice. No. Oh. Well, still reasonable damage. All right. Um, I don't know if there's a pattern to what he goes around them. Let's. Well, let's Libra him again. And work on the assumption that there might be a pattern. Let's so let's see if he's weak against ice next. Nope. Okay, maybe it's fire, lightning, ice then. Thundera. Before you change the barrier, please. Stop that. Oh, you tit faced wank biscuit. Oh, hello. Maybe still weak to lightning. Libra? No Libras left. Good. Good. That's what I wanted. No, don't do that. That's annoying. And it missed, so that's okay. Stop hitting him. Nice. More of that, please. Physical attacks are really no good on this guy, huh? Alright. Let's heal up Ingus in that case. And you can... Freeze him? He's probably going to shift before I cast this again, but what the hell? It's respectable. Oh no, get him. Get him, Ingus. Lovely. 
And he's down. Good job, everybody. That's what I like to see. Death. And of course, he was powering the whole castle. Oh, an earthquake. It's the happy music. Thank you, warriors of the light. The wolves, they speak. I am the elder tree of the living woods. Hein had put a curse on me to do his bidding. But you have freed me from his bonds. Thank you again, warriors of the light. I will now free the people held captive within me and return them to where they belong. Then I will go back to the living woods once again. Thank you. Thank you. Now it is time to return. I am back where I belong. Thank you for your help, young ones. Here, take this. Use it when the power of darkness stands in your way. You've saved the living woods. Thank you. Obtain Fang of Wind. I will now steep until the wounds that Hein inflicted upon me heal themselves. For a thousand years I shall sleep, and none shall be able to enter these woods until I awaken. Young ones, it is no coincidence that this floating continent was born a thousand years ago, when the darkness engulfed the world. And that you have been chosen to become the warriors of the light a thousand years later. Young ones, you must leave this floating continent and go to the world of darkness, the surface world. The surface world? You must make haste. If you do not go now, it will be a thousand years before you may go again. Goodbye, goodbye, and good luck. Now get the fuck out of our forest. Well then. That went well. Let's go and chat with the people back in town then. Happy music? There it is. You've saved us! Thank you! King Argus and a princess from a faraway land promised us they would help rebuild this village. Good. No one wants to send me letters. Thanks to you, I was able to escape Heinz Castle and come back to the village. Thanks for saving us. My husband is alive. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done for us. All in the day's work, lady. A settlement in the mountains west of Castle Argus is said to be inhabited by people who can see into the future. You truly saved us all. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Right, I don't think there's actually anything we can do here because there's no shops or anything. So, we need to go see King Argus at his castle because he's the one who knows how to make airships, as you recall, which is the whole point of this whole exercise.
So if you can let us know this, and then we can go and see Sid to make the airship, and then we can go to the surface world. And that should wrap things up for today, rather nicely. Ooh, hello. Four figure damage. Yes, please. Um. Question is, where is Castle Argus? I seem to have forgotten. South a bit. All right. Such a dirty castle. Or maybe it's just made of brown stone. It just it just looks like it's dirty or burned down on the map. Thank you for saving Castle Argos, Warriors of the Light. It's all right. Before you, uh, while you were away, I just looted everything. I hope you don't mind. It's probably fine. King! King! Thank you, young ones. Your brave actions have brought peace to our kingdom once again, and I've developed a lisp since the last time you spoke to me. Here, take this with you. And don't worry about giving back my sword. It's not like it was important or anything. It is the Argus family heirloom, the Wheel of Time, a box created by the powerful ancients. Bring it to Sid and Kanan. This must be what Sid needs to build another airship. We'll be able to go to the surface world. So you have already met Sid. Then you know what you must do. Go forth, warriors of the light. King Argus gives you the wheel of time. All right, let's do it. Sid! 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 We got your thing! Sid! 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 Look at you, standing on the water. We'll have none of that shit. Lightning for you! Oops, I just cast that on all. I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. It all worked out. Right, where is Sid? Is he in here? I can't remember which one is his house. Where is that Kaja Desh gone off to? My silly has been waiting for him for weeks. What? Desh? In the Tower of Owen? I... I'm sure he'll be back soon. Oh, Dash, my love, please come back to me safe. He's not coming back, lady. Because he threw himself into a furnace. Because of reasons. I think this is Sid's house. The Wheel of Time, so you've met King Argus. My accent has changed since the last time you saw me, but who cares? All right then, it's time to get to work. I'll turn your Enterprise into a brand new airship. See that you do, Sid. One small bit of hammering later, and it's done. 
It's done. Press the cross button while aboard the Enterprise to turn it into an airship. Remember, though, you can only land in water. It was a sea ship to begin with, you know. Now you can finally get away from the floating continent and back to our own world. Our own world? What do you mean? I guess it's time you knew the truth. You four and I are not from this world, this floating continent. Ten years ago, I was flying my airship filled with passengers. It seemed to be a day like any other, until... Suddenly, the airship was engulfed in an impenetrable darkness. Next thing I knew, my airship was in pieces. We had crashed, and things were aflame everywhere I looked. The only survivors, aside from myself, were you four. You probably don't remember. You were only little kiddies then. I don't know what happened to our world after the darkness came. But you, you must go and find out. You've been chosen as the Warriors of the Light. I know you'll make it. Well, you be careful here. All right, let's do it. Let's go and fulfill our destiny. See you later, everybody. Right, so what we do now is we get on the ship and we go wee up and away. And then I believe we can just fly off the edge. There we go. Ah, what is this cloud? It's draining my strength away. Hold on. Our answers lie on the surface. We must reach it. I hope they reach the surface all right. Warriors of the Light, you lads are our best hope. And lady, thank you very much. We're through. Is this the surface? It's so sprawling. Right, so that is the floating continent there. And we now need to find somewhere to set down. Give me a map. See? Pretty big. And not a lot of places that we know about yet. So I guess we want to head for something that is actually on the map at the minute. Over to the east. There we go. OK, 
And we land here. We can. Good. Alright. What I'm going to do, I'm going to save here and we will pick up exploring this mysterious other world in the next episode. So I'm making good progress. We've cleared like the first big milestone in this game now and on to the much larger second world. So still a lot to do, but we're doing pretty well. So for now though, just remains for me to say, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time.